There are two main types of lenses. One is a converging lens and one is a diverging lens. So how does this work? For a converging lens, it's kind of bonded towards the outside, while for the diverging lens, it's shaped the other way. This is a bit extreme. It doesn't have to be extreme to already be working. Now, when a parallel ray, parallel to the central axis of the lens, touches the first surface of the lens, it will be bent towards the normal according to Snell's law, because usually we have outside we have air, so an index of refraction of 1, and inside the lens usually they're made of glasses, so made of glass, so they have an index of refraction of 1.5. So we're going from a lower to a higher index, so we're bending towards the normal. Then, when you're hitting the second surface, you're going from the higher to the lower index, so you're bending further away from the normal. So basically what this does, all the parallel rays, they will be converging in one point called the focal point, which we will always give as a positive number, meaning it's the, a real focal point. The, real, the light really meets here, and with this type of lens you can actually start a fire. Uh, by using that focal point. It will get really hot. On the diverging lens, if we have air on the outside and glass on the inside, and if the opposite happens, when you are hitting the surface here, again the ray is bending towards the normal, so a bit upwards, and then when we are going from the higher index to the lower index, you are bending here the normal was here, further away from the normal. So basically in this case, all the rays are kind of spread out. They are diverging. Interestingly, if we take these diverging rays and we back check where they appear to come from, they all appear to come from a point here, which we call the focal point again. However, this focal point is not real. This one is a real focal point. This one is a virtual focal point, as the light actually never really went through this point. So with this type of lens, you will never be able to start a fire because the light just is diverging and doesn't really meet here. To show that it's a virtual focal point and not a real one, we're always going to give these focal distances as negative numbers, something below zero. As we are simply too lazy to always draw the real shape of the lenses, what we will do is for converging lenses, we will hint an outside bonding with little triangles like this. And for the diverging lens, we will hint the shape with little triangles like this. So here kind of the shape goes inside, inside, and here the bonding is outside, outside. Now what's important is if you know the focal distance, to mark where the focal point is. There are actually always two focal points as the lenses are symmetrical. So in this case you have the virtual focal point here, but I could have turned the lens around. I have the same effect from the other side. So this is how we draw a converging lens, the lazy way, and this is how we call the diverging lens the lazy way.